North of Brisbane is the Sunshine Coast, surrounded by spectacular coastline and towering hinterland. Hey guys, we're at Noosa Heads. The beautiful Noosa Beach is also bordered by a national park, which makes it great to be able to go for a walk in the morning, followed by a nice cooling dip. Now that's naturally refreshing. The Sunshine Coast is famous for its long stretches of stunning beaches and wonderful coastal experiences. We're out for a morning paddle on the Pumice Stone Passage with the Blue Water Kayaking Tours. It is an enjoyable calm water paddle over to Bribie Island. Here we are on Bribie Island. Uh, we're walking across the fourth largest sand island in Australia. The island also has a diverse range of wildlife. One of the amazing things about this area is we actually have more bird species here than in Kakadu. So we have a huge number of species of birds. You have a great vantage point from the kayak to witness the bird life and the spectacular surrounds of the Glasshouse Mountains. The Glasshouse Mountains are up on the Sunshine Coast hinterland. You can come up here and there are numerous walking trails to explore and spectacular scenery to enjoy. So you're probably going to want to stay a couple of days. The Glasshouse Mountains Eco Lodge is right near the base of Mount Tibragargan. Great views and it's just easy to be able to get straight on to some walking trails from here. Also in the foothills of the hinterland is one of Australia's most famous wildlife attractions. We're at Australia Zoo on the Sunshine Coast hinterland, so let's go in and have some fun animal experiences. That's one cute hungry elephant. Now I've done a lot of things, but walking a wombat, this is a unique experience. Franklin is a little 10 month old Tasmanian devil. Look how gorgeous that face is. <laughs> so there we go. She did really well. She did very same time. We're in the Mary Cairn Cross Scenic Reserve that's just up at Mullaney. You can come for a walk through the rainforest here, which is really nice, and you can even see some rare species of plants as well. Up in the Noosa hinterland is Lake Waiba. You can actually come up here and stay at Umarella Shores and use their canoes to go for a paddle into the lake. It's just really beautiful and relaxing out here. And there's also a walking track that you can do through the bush where you can learn about the local flora and fauna and the wildlife as well. The Sunshine Coast is a great place to escape and soak up the natural elements all around you. And your time here will leave you feeling naturally refreshed.